if we ever got avian flu here, it would just destroy everything we've ever worked towards. We started from nothing and we're only our fifth, sixth year into it. So we still have debts over our head. Um, but if we did get it, we would have to deplete the birds. You'd possibly have to empty for a year. So that's a year without being paid. I still have to pay any staff I have or lay them off. You wake up every day and think, well, let's hope nothing ever happens to us. Biosecurity is the biggest thing you can now focus on. If you did suspect the disease on site, um, there's going to be chaos. It can go very quickly from you reporting a notifiable disease. Within a couple hours, um, there may be somebody on site to investigate. And there's very quickly things will escalate. You would have vets turning up, you would have numerous phone calls, you'd have a lot of investigations on this site. And that can really lead to a, a huge amount of stress in one day or even a couple hours. Um, making any decisions is quite hard to do when you, you don't understand the process. So that's where we can really help guide them and hold their hands. If you've got 32,000 birds, that's 32,000 eggs a day, and that's a huge loss, unsustainable to, for more than a couple months. Getting the process going, you know, moving them forward so they can see a light and guidance in the future. In the UK, we've had over 200 outbreaks in the last 12 months alone. If we can improve biosecurity and prevent these diseases getting into farms, we improve production, we make it a a sustainable protein source. It's the biggest growing protein source around the world now. Uh, and to maintain that and maintain people's access to it at an affordable price, um, we need to keep disease out of farms and good biosecurity practice is the key to achieving that. What we're trying to achieve is the three Ps. It's about preparation, it's about prevention, and it's about planning. Um, disease is carried in many vectors. It can be carried by wild animals, by humans, by possibly the environment. So how do we prepare for that? How do we actually prepare ourselves as, as best we can? Prevention. We've noticed a huge change in people's attitudes towards biosecurity, um, understanding why it's important, and coming to us for advice. Um, now more than ever. The pressures on farmers, particularly in the UK, are immense. The advisory services that LiveTech offer can lighten the load in significant ways. Our emphasis is on prevention and preparedness. We can provide the right advice at the right time before something happens, so we can help in a very measured and pragmatic way, so we reduce the risk. We're trying to get out there get life tech onto other farms so to make our area a lot more secure I know chickens they know the biosecurity they know exactly what they are doing it takes the pressure off you they're there to make it easy they're there to help and it, it does help it's always improving everything we do the more data that we can gather the more information we can gather the more accurate that data can be so we are turning data into decisions we have invested very heavily in a digital platform. That platform has been built in a way that is product agnostic. It can draw data from multiple sources. It can draw data from government. It can draw data from NGOs. It can draw data from our customers. It can take that data, it can analyze that data, and it can represent it in a way that actually really helps turn proper decisions. The app works really well, always tracking where avian flu is. We need to pinpoint the exact locations of where these animals are dying, how they're dying, are they migrating? As soon as the AI case goes off, we get alerted like minutes. It warns people what is going on, and that's what we need to know. And that data can cover wild birds, it can cover captive birds, it can cover disease, it can cover other things within the farm and become a complete farm management platform a dashboard for the farm. For us, the really exciting part of this is it's not country specific. We can draw that data from any country that, that publishes it. Whether you're a, a farmer in Burkina Faso, in Ethiopia, Bangladesh, looking at the way disease is progressing, what the threat level is in your particular area, can give farmers the, the data at their fingertips, in their language, in their production systems, uh, to make uh, value-driven, evidence-driven decisions about how they protect their birds. Basically, LiveTech are trying to build the future of livestock protection. We're trying to make sure that we protect the farmer, we protect the industry and we protect the supply chain.
if we can push and push our virus security, we can protect ourselves. Your sustainability on farm is going to be a lot better. It's not just protecting against avian flu, it reduces any other disease that the birds could get. So it's not just focusing on one subject, there is many subjects that we can cover, our eyes have been open to it. Thank you.